Hello everyone, welcome to the Bonsai Life. My name is Damir and today I will work on uh, this forest of Japanese uh, pagoda trees and uh, now it's actually a spring and I'm repotting all the trees and everything I'm in full repotting mode and I have like really a lot of work to do but this forest last year in the summer we had really strong winds and this this forest was in this kind of oval shaped pot and the wind took the forest because it, had, it was like full of the leaves and drop it from the shelf and break the pot so I had to put into something emergency and the only thing I had was this big Indian pot. This, this tree was like wiggling and it still is wiggling so I want to repot this, put properly into this pot, give this tree a space to grow because now it's totally pushed to the corner so it doesn't have any room to, to grow the, the roots. This is root cuttings that actually took off and they're growing and this is root cutting also and it has his own roots and now I want to just move this from this pot to this pot so I hope everything goes smooth I prepared this pot maybe I could put some some wires here just in case but they're quite they're like connected with the roots except these two because they're not like originally there uh, this is two mil wire and I will just put in case I need to hold something but when I was when I was repotting this just that emergency repot when I was potting it up I, I just like move everything from one pot to, to another so I didn't have any problems so I have pot ready I think so. These trees have really aggressive roots, so they grow really fast, they grow really fast like roots, so I'm expecting even though they're, they were like really short, sh short time in, in this round pot, I'm expecting a lot of roots. I just want to take my lava rocks out and use them in this other pot. It looks like I didn't have much lava rocks in this in this pot. So I have everything outside of the pot and now I will just Comb everything around a bit so I'm not planning to cut some of the roots now because I'm leaving them to fuse so I don't want to cut much today 
I just want them to grow and to fuse together and because they they have that like really rapid growth so I'm not afraid they will fuse really really fast but I have to do something with this tree so I have to I have to it's almost like a cutting because I don't know maybe roots are broken or what happened I don't know but I will it has some roots attached but nothing nothing special you know so I want just to place it again where it was it was here and I will actually take a piece of wire I will make a loop just attach it here so I don't want actually this tree to move so so I at least secured the tree here then later I will take those wires off I just want this tree to not move or I have wires so I will just I put my lava rocks and uh, a large grained substrate here on the bottom now I will put my classic bonsai substrate here on the top and I will hope these trees will fit So I'm not gonna cut any roots, I will leave cutting of the roots in, mm, I have this too high, just it's too high, I have to take something from the bottom, so unfortunately this time it will be uh, a bit higher, this all composition, but, but uh, it doesn't matter that much. I have these trees from seed I saw this these trees in a park and they had this kind of like beans and the trees were, are like very kind of not twisty but they have when they're uh, older they look like like they're wired so they have very strange uh, shape of the trunk so I was like very excited I didn't even know what is that so I picked few of these beans I saw the seeds and I got these trees and these are some of these trees and 
after first repotting, I noticed they have really strong roots. So I was wondering if I can use those roots for uh, root cutting and I had like really big success with those and I have I will pin some pictures uh, with this video on some some trees that I have from growing from roots they look like really crazy they're not they're not developed that much but I think in time they will they will look really really good it's definitely one of those good trees for a, for a bonsai something something different I definitely encourage everyone to try something new it's not just pine trees and maple trees it's definitely good to to experiment and to try to try all different kinds of species so now I see why did I had the problem with this tree I have a pocket here with the substrate so so maybe roots are were damaged with that in that pocket so when the forest fall down something dropped so so this one tree suffered but now I will fill that pocket and I'm hoping the tree will grow If this tree don't grow, then I will have to reassemble everything and put a new tree here because I need something in the middle. Like it's not totally necessary to have something in the middle of the forest, but I have really bad root here, like this one. I don't want that root here, doesn't look good, so I will use that repotting to take this off, like this. This root just doesn't look good. And Usually I have the trees, uh, like when I'm making a forest, I have trees growing away, like, but these I want straight as much as I can. So with this wire, I straighten up my trees. And in next two years, I will take this out comb the roots around and replant this again and then I will definitely focus on fixing the roots like the roots I, I don't know will I ever have like a nabari here because these roots grow like crazy so it's uh, it's like uh, with wisteria tree you cannot get like really nice nabari because you get this kind of crazy roots so it's really hard to to have decent nabari because 
because you have that that kind of that kind of roots so on the end you have to be happy what with what you have and make use of that as much as you can so each each tree have his own qualities so you have to just use what what the tree offer i have a bit more uh, perlite in this in this mixture and more bark so i tried this year to put more bark and more perlite if i can hold a bit more water in my uh, mixture in my substrate mixture so we will see how this will go this year during the wind during the summer so it's all done i water it so this is how it's look like in new pot i really like this this uh, forest planting i think it will it will definitely look really good in time and especially when it start to to flower and to fruit it will look really really good i have here some just want to cut really hard wood and these these root cuttings they will they will look really crazy in time i think and i hope so this is it and you will see definitely more of these trees so i have much more of them i have single ones so I will show you the single ones. I definitely encourage every, everybody to try this pieces as a bonsai. Le definitely worth it. You will wait a bit for branches, but it's they they look really good. I choose the uh, light pot because the color of the leaves is like light green, so it will look really good like with this light pot. So this is it. I hope you like it. And if if do please thumbs up and we will see each other in next video and this forest you will see when all leaf out. I will show you at least I will I will put it as a shorts so you will see this in the middle of the spring when all green up. So thanks all for viewing and bye bye guys, have a nice day.